Hey folks, it's Wild Adventures with Steve again, and I'm out in the forest, deep in the forest, in a remote location in western North Carolina in the mountains here, and uh, I can't reveal the location because um, I'm following salamander expert Alan Cameron on the hunt for green salamanders. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's right, green salamanders. They're a, a rare salamander that occurs in very remote locations in this area and uh, hopefully we'll find one today and uh, we're going to collect some uh, salamander slime um, for the uh, monitoring project, the chytrid fungus monitoring project and uh, so hopefully I'll, I'll uh, be successful today in finding one or two and we'll get to check these little guys out because they really are a beautiful salamander. Green salamanders belong to the genus Aeneids and there are six species within that genus. Four of them are in California and ranging north up into Oregon and a little bit into uh, in British Columbia also. One of these species is in the Sacramento Mountains of New Mexico. Three tiny little isolated spots there. Our green salamander, uh, Aeneids Aeneas, is the only one east of New Mexico. So it's uh, <clears throat> the only one in this area. So yet another reason why it is so rare. And this is uh, the habitat of the green salamander. And of course you have to know exactly how to look for them. It may look pretty simple but uh, you know, Alan knows what he's doing. I've looked for green salamanders for years and never found them but uh, Alan has the, uh, the bloodhound um, effect when he's looking for them he finds them as you can see uh, green salamanders live in remote areas that take a lot of work to get to and uh, well you probably will never see one unless you're really looking like we are one of the species in California called the wandering, I think it's a wandering, well, salamander. It's in the, in the genus, um, Aeneids. And it has been found in redwood trees, and they've recently determined that it probably spends its entire life in the redwoods. It never comes to Earth. It's what? born up there, lives up there, dies up there. And it looks exactly like our green salamander. Yet another reason for conservation of special habitats such as the redwood trees and of course, areas such as this. Well, this is an amazing rock here. We still have not found any green salamanders, even though this is a, a wonderful wonderful rock that has produced greens before they're they're, they're hiding I mean this is just uh, shows you how hard it is to find them really an amazing creature that uh, can be so visible one moment and then gone the next definitely a master of camouflage We just made our way through this incredible laurel thicket. It was next to impassable. We were clambering through over under uh, ancient laurel bushes and rhododendrons. Um, and we've come to this area still in the laurel thicket near a rushing mountain stream that you can barely see down through the uh, laurels there. And um, this is our destination, a boulder field in the middle of the laurels. We had to follow a GPS coordinate to get to it because it's just so remote and there would be no way to find it without the GPS. And uh, we're, we're checking it out now. So maybe we'll find us some greens here. It's so hard to move through this. But you just gotta take your time. I'm having to crawl on my hands and knees to get through here. You gotta check this out. I've down, made my way down to the creek. Whoa! 
You got one? Okay. I think he's got one. Okay, bingo. You got one? Got a juvenile in here face on, so it's hard to get size, but it's a definite green. Okay. There he is. Oh, that's perfect. Don't move. Yeah, there he is. There's no way we're going to get him out. He is so back in there, wouldn't you think? Well, let me take a look. And there's our first green salamander. Little guy. Beautiful nonetheless. Look at him. Oh, he's active. Don't know whether you call him an adult or not. He's you know, kind of in that in-between size. Yeah. Got a, such amazing camouflage. If he was sitting back against some uh, lichen or moss, you'd never see him. Let's put him on this lichen. Let's see how difficult he could be to spot. Oh, yeah. If he didn't move, you'd never see him. We just let him go on his way here. Yeah. Back in his little hole. And those spots are really diagnostic. You can take a picture of him and five years later you shoot him again. You don't know, definitely know you got the same guy or not. Just like a yeah, you know, like a fingerprint. He's getting ready to go in. And there he goes. To his little home. So we found another green. And look at him. He's about the same size as the second as the first one we found today. Boy, he's an active little guy. Still got, look at those beautiful markings. Blends right in. So, Alan, these guys are down here in the rocks right now, waiting for the trees to leaf out. Is that right? Yeah. And then, uh, of course, the females, after breeding, will stay in the rocks and raise their, or, or brood their little clutch of eggs and protect them from crickets and other predators until... I guess midsummer when the babies hatch. Yep. Then they'll all move up into the trees. Actually, the babies will hang around the rock crevice where they're born for a couple of weeks, living off their yolk sac. Oh. Okay. And they will probably stay there the rest of the year, mm -hmm. and they're going to hibernation. And then the following year, uh, when they come out in the spring, is when they will start maybe moving to a new territory or moving up into the trees. Once they get a little larger. But these guys don't have any real larval stage. They come out of the egg looking exactly like the mom and dad. About how big are they when they're born? Uh, about one inch. Really? Oh, wow. So how old would you say this little guy is? Probably two years. What was the largest one you've ever found? I found one about slightly over six inches. Wow. Which is pretty long. They're, they're a very slender salamander. Not beefy and muscular like the mole salamanders. Right. Okay, well, let's put him back. You can follow me up there. We'll see if he goes back in. See, this is his little crack right here. There we go. Come on. Oh, yeah, he knows he's home. There he goes. All right. Good find. Make it shine, make it shine. 